what's that called, that 47? Uh, AK-47? And you're there with your little pistol or shotgun? Give them the food. Jesus will feed you. Jesus will keep you alive. I'm not talking about being a coward or running away. I'm talking about wisdom. Is our dependence upon God? Glory. He said we're going to have victory. Glory. He said we've got to dig. We got to dig. When we get tired of using the shovel, get down on our hands and knees and begin to dig with our hands. Go, go for the answer. Go for the answer. Dig in. Dig in. Glory. Hallelujah. You work someplace, you want to raise, let them know. They'll say they don't give raises. Oh, yeah? I've never worked in a place yet except for God's ministry, and he does give us our raises that I didn't get a raise. I mean, about the time they said, well, we can't do it, I'd say, well, I'm giving my two-week notice. Oh, no, no, you can't do that. Let's talk about this. Well, the answer is I need more money. They're amazed. And you know what they tell you? And every one of you has been told that. All right, I'm going to give you $10 a week more, but don't you dare tell anybody in here what you're getting. Just, isn't that right? They sure do, don't they? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many working next to you get a little extra because they dare to press in and get what belonged to them? Glory. Whew. Remember, no weapon that is formed against you can prosper or come to pass. The devil can't win. You know, sometimes I don't think we really get this in our mind. The devil cannot win. So don't stop digging. Keep pressing in. It may be bad for a day, a week, a month. It's got to change. When we moved from the state of Washington to Wisconsin... We got as far as North Dakota, and we had some problems on the way, and I didn't know the word like I knew the word now. Glory. And I had to call back to the church and said, we can't go no farther. They said, what's the problem? No money. That truck ate a lot more money than we thought, and the car behind it, you know. We'd slept in the car in the truck. We ate whatever we could eat that was cheap. We're out of money. And it was night. They said, put up in a motel. I got no money. We'll tell them we'll take care of it. And we'll wire you the money. David remembers that. And they wired us the money the next day. And we got there and we took the truck back. Glory. Now, we're going to have a little money for food. We got our deposit back. And we were so excited. And the first Sunday, which was a day or two after that, we went to church and they had the barrels, big barrels full of food and meat and everything for us. God was already ahead of us. God had already taken care of. And we were worried. We thought, what are we going to do now? They had a snow blizzard, too. I remember, oh, man, they had a snow blizzard. Whew. Glory. I forgot what snow like that looked like. I don't know if David ever remembered a snowstorm like that from New York State. I mean, they had one. Cold, 32 below zero. And the Lord... Where did you send me? Siberia? Then when we had 62 below zero without the wind chill, I really knew we were in a cold place. Glory. But you know, we survived. God took care of us. We prospered. We saw growth. Why? Because God said so. We had a word. The devil means to kill you. Destroy your ministry. It means, means to make it 
inconvenient, hopeless. No. He stands there and lies to your face. Glory. But I want to tell you something. This is all set up. You say, what? A set up. God is getting ready to level out that playing field and make a landing strip for himself to bring you the blessings that he's promised. God is ready to show up on the scene. He's ready to flip this around and change it. He's ready to turn everything upside down and bless you because he said you win. This is the Christians. He told us that we win. We don't lose. I mean, the world may go to hell, and they're going to, but we don't. How many know you're an ambassador? I never heard of a country sending their ambassadors someplace and not taking care of them. Glory. We forget who we are. Elijah, you remember him? <laughs> Glory, I love that. All he heard was the sound in his spirit. Let me clarify that. He heard the sound in his spirit. It was the sound of what? Rain. 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 He sent his servant up on the mountain again and looked, and there was nothing there. The servant come down and said, there's nothing there. He said, yes, there is. Go back and look again. He went up and looked again. He come down and said, there's nothing there. He said, go look again. Now that's action. Everybody's saying, it's not working. And Elijah said, go look again. Hey, have you ever... Or can you remember? It's getting hard now. Can you? Re I, I love it when we go up to the Thousand Islands, especially when we eat at the captain's restaurant. And we go out on the little dock, floating dock. And you know what you smell? That beautiful scent of water. I, I sometimes think it smells better than the ocean. Really, I've lived on the ocean. But there, there's something about that scent of water. I mean, uh, Sharon and Lee probably know this when they go to their cottage up on the lake. There's probably some mornings that you can go out and just smell that beautiful scent of water. A scent of water. You can't see any water in the air. I mean, you might be far enough away from the lake you can't even see the lake. But what do you smell? The scent of water. The scent of water. Glory. I tell you, there's a scent of water in the air. I don't know about you. I come out yeah, last night to go to church. First time I've been out of my house since Tuesday when I got home. Maybe it was Wednesday morning. Glory. I hadn't shaved. I, I was starting to look like a grizzly bear. And probably everybody at prayer meeting thought, is that pastor? <laughs> he didn't notice. But you know, when I went out, the first thing I said was, wow, it's warm out here. And today I come out and thought, wow, it's warm. I can smell spring. Glory. Can't see it, but it's coming. Serious, it's coming. It's not going to be a week or a month or two months or three months, but it's coming. I mean, the promises of God are being fulfilled. Matter of fact, I found an Obadiah. God specifically took me to Obadiah, and I'm waiting for Randy to find it. Oh, I, I gave you, oh, yeah. He said, when I've told you the day that I'll come, and I don't come. That's because I did, deliberately postponed it. <coughs> because I found somebody else that'll come in. 
And that's just before Babylon's destroyed. That's just before the church comes back with Jesus. That's just before the thousand-year millennial raid. And I'll tell you, that excited me because I was a little down. I thought, Lord, we're in 2013. I thought we'd go out in 12. And that was a word for me. I said, thank you, Lord. He said, I'm not willing that any should perish. And I'm not held by man to any date. I will come when I come. Glory. Glory. Got a word. I got a word. That's Friday. I got a word. I don't know how many pages that didn't take me. Very long. Shortest study, I think. 19 pages and I've done it in less than two hours with scriptures and verses to look up. Glory. It just flowed. And the strength, and you might notice it today, and the anointing. I tell you, I was excited. Glory. Before that, I had been down. And I was a little discouraged because 45 years, he'd never been able to catch me. I thought, where have I left the door open? In this eye, I was trying to correct things. You can pray about that. I was getting so frustrated with the notes and trying to correct things because I'd look at a three and I'd write down five or type it in a five and I'd, wait, wait. Oh, that's a three. Commas were periods and oh, it was just terrible. I said, this is the last set of notes I'm ever going to do, Lord. That's it. Pity party. You recognize it? Sharon Turk encouraged me when she called. Sorry. <laughs> she said, well, at least you got all the notes for next week, Wednesday night, Pastor. I got them all corrected. <laughs> I'm looking to got a hundred pages to collect. And then Gwen calls for something. <laughs> and she let me just pour it all out on her. Just dump all that garbage. You know? <laughs> right? <laughs> and she cleaned it all off. And when we got done talking, I knew I had a word from God. I knew the church had a word from God. I'll tell you, man, I feel like I'm about 30 today. Glory. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, I got that touch that some of you have been playing for, and all I need now is this other eye, Lord. And I don't want to wait till March to go to the doctor. I'm prophesying to somebody. God wants to change things for you. Can you smell the water yet? Do you have a scent of the water yet? I'll tell you, it's coming. What did God last tell you? Glory. I'll tell you, here they totaled their car out. <laughs> Insurance company, give them a price. It would pay it off. It might have done a little more. And then Gwen got looking at it, and she said, wait a minute. This is not our vehicle. So she called the insurance company. She said, no, this is not ours. We have a sunroof. And besides, ours is this, whatever one it was, not this one. When they got done, <laughs> praise God, they got a check for $17,000. And you think God's not working on our behalf. Now they can pay cash for the car. And he's thinking about buying a pickup truck because his is shot on a brand new one to pull his camper when they go places. Who? Insurance company? No. God. Because if she hadn't looked it over, God inspired her to look. Been there. 
They'll gladly give you the check if you accept it. If you don't struggle. I had one one time tell me when I had a throwaway Pontiac. <laughs> I love that little throwaway Pontiac. They said, it's totaled. We'll pay off the bank. I said, no, you won't. They said, what? I said, if you pay off the bank, I'm left without a car. Fix it. And they fixed it. They fixed it. Oh, I still had my bank payments to make on the car, but I had a car. I mean, if they'd have took it and paid it off, I wouldn't have had no down payment. I, I might have scraped up $100, and what can you go out and buy for $100 down? Today you can, because things have changed. A bicycle, probably right. But you see, we had a word. We had a word. Are you, are you getting a hold of that? We had a word. You know, he might want to destroy your marriage, your family, your health, your finances. He's going to try all this. He's going to try all this. He probably already has. Glory. But I'm telling you, <laughs> there's something new that started the first year just like God said. There's something that's happening in the spirit realm. Not in the world, because we're only seeing bad. And all you're going to see is bad. Now get a hold of this or you're going to miss it. You dot the I on that if. You dot the I on that if, and you'll begin to see the other side, and you'll begin to see God move. You'll begin to see God's boldness. What did he say about 2013? We're going to be mean. But we're not going to be mean to people. Who are we going to be mean to? The devil. And we're going to be king. And we're going to sing. As before he got, you know, people get things. You hear about, oh, I'm going to double it. Well, to be honest, there's a lot of things I don't need to double of, Lord. <laughs> Unless I can sell it to get rid of it. I, I got so much junk now I don't need any more. <laughs> Serious. Why don't I need any more? I'm packing. How many, how many are really packing? I'm getting ready to go. Not dying. <laughs> I, I'm beginning to get a sound of that chariot coming out of the sky. I think it just left out of the throne room the other day. And it's rattling up there through the clouds. And once it gets out of the clouds, the trumpet's going to sound. So what do I need all this other junk for? <laughs> I can only take... Whatever I can carry with me, that's going to vanish on the way up. Can't take my money. Glory. There's a breakthrough coming. The drought's over. The church has been under drought. We've been under drought. We have. I said, Lord, they said we need a million dollars. He said, no. You need about a million three hundred thousand dollars. And that's before you get to the next building. I said, <laughs> dig. <laughs> dig. 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 Brother Johnson used to say, plot on, plot on, plot on. He said, I got another verse to this song. Plot on, plot on, plot on. There's another verse. Plot on, plot on, plot on. Glory. And he's been gone since 70-something. Glory. He's seen it. Whew. Glory. Yeah. Some of us are standing on the outside looking in. Uh-oh. Huh? <laughs> Glory. I got to read this one scripture first. I'm not done, but I'm stopping right here. Job 14, 7 through 9. For there is hope of a tree. Now, are you listening? For there is hope 
of a tree. I don't say too much, does it? In the natural. If it be cut down, that it will sprout again. Do you ever see a tree sprout again? I have. That's why the stumps sometimes are so hard to get out. They're still growing. They haven't died. Our roots haven't died. They haven't died. Oh, hallelujah. And the tender branch thereof will not cease. It's not going to cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Through the scent of water. Are you smelling it yet? Can you smell that fresh smell of salt water? You know, when you're walking on the docks by the fishing boats and, or, or up on the lake. Oh, that, that beautiful scent of water. Well, there's a heavenly water. A heavenly water. Glory. And it's coming. It's already started. Started the first of the year. It's coming. Glory. Whew. I'd go home and write down what I got in my bank account. Because if God's going to double it, and I don't think it's going to take a year, you're going to be amazed, aren't you? Huh? You'll be amazed. Glory. Hallelujah. Now in a car, he might be going to give you a new one. We've seen that here many times. Glory. Better job, he might do that. There's a scent of water. Are you feeling it? There's a scent of water. Those people that wrote in for miracles, every week they get their miracles. The wheelchairs are emptied, the blind eyes are open, the deaf hear, the lame walk, cancer flees. And we're the rut. We're producing that. It's time for us. It's time for us. Glory. We're like a big old rutabaggy. How many know what a rutabaggy is? What do you eat? Do you eat that, you know, leaves that are up there? I mean, the leaves look good. What do you eat? It's like a potato plant. What do you eat? Right. You got to get down underneath a little bit. That's where all the fruit is. There's where the blessings are. Like a carrot. This is not that little top. The sun is here. The sun is here. Father, we thank you that your word never goes out and returns void. We thank you for all you've done this morning and all you're yet going to do. We give unto you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you think I was long, I only done 15 pages out of 30. <laughs> Thank you.